Yeah. Welcome back, everybody. For those of you who made it <laughs> to day three of this Rappahannock and Rapidan River fishing and camping trip. Here we are, the last day of the camping trip. To my left is the Rappahannock, to my right, the Rapidan, and once they merge right here, they call it all the Rappahannock. And God, is some of the best smallmouth fishing I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Up here to the right, in this pocket water on the Rapidan, that's where I caught those, uh, that 22 inch area, the 18, the 17, 15, 16s, right up there. <laughs> First cast of the morning. First cast of the morning. And you can see I switched over to a shark truce tip on the Senko here. Uh, didn't really matter. <laughs> those fish still loved it, man. Didn't really matter. Yeah, little girl, get out of here. Fish on. Now, right now, I got up early at the campsite, real early, so I could pack up all my stuff and maximize my time on the water. Because that's who I am. <laughs> but everyone else is like eating breakfast, uh, cleaning up last last bits here and there. About ten inches. I like the little fish. No fishing till I make it do this nonsense. Now, when the water's higher here, this uh, stretch downstream from the intersection of the two rivers can get pretty dicey. If you're waiting, it can be excellent, excellent well, fishing, like I've been saying. The less bad option. <laughs> Not the good option, but the last less bad one. But it can't get dicey. All right, let's play. I don't pick too well today. <laughs> Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> That's not where I was trying to go. Come on. Get off of this rock. Come on. There you go. Yeah, but right, I try to again. I try to leave some of my difficulties in here so you know I'm I not perfect in this guy. <laughs> <laughs> not at this all. This path was okay last year because the water was higher, but... I'm dragging bottom pretty hard. Ugh, so I wanted a reason to maintain that speed. Yeah, maintain your speed so when you're in those shallow parts, uh, you can get over. Right you might grind, but at least you won't get stuck on it and have to pull yourself off. Now, cut hard, yes. Cut. Oh man, this water is low. Darn, it's low. Low water might be difficult in shallow water for kayaking and canoeing, but it concentrates those I fish. Got. Oh, shot that perfectly. <laughs> shot that perfectly. Heck and yeah. when, when the fish are concentrated, it makes them easier Down to target. Side to the left and cut back to the right. Yeah, you want you want to be looking ahead and plan your moves when you're in a kayak or canoe going through rocky water. Shoot this little gap over the rock. Come on. There you you want you want to have that plan there set out almost as far as you can see, but oh, almost rock. really as far big as you can see down. accurately. Shot between them and down. Woo! <laughs> I, I made it look kind of easy right. for the most part, but you can actually tip over in there. Now A lot of people do. Here we go. Fish on. <laughs> this will be the fish of the day thus far. Right in that current break. It's not gonna look look straight ahead of me. Right in that current break fish. with the grass. I'm Very telling good. you. Those back eddies, yeah. dude. Is that a... No, it's just a big smallie, I think. Right? What is this? Oh, wow. It's way bigger than I thought. Oh, baby. She's a tank. Oh, baby. <laughs> yes. And I, I'm still on a high from my 22 inch last night. Good morning. <laughs> Come here, gorgeous. Come here, gorgeous. She's about a 20 incher. Come on. Come on. Come on, big girl. Oh, those smallmouth never say die. 
They fight to the bitter end, man. Oh. Come on. Right in the top lip. Got her. <laughs> Look at that. Ah. Oh, man. I love this river. <laughs> Son of a god, I think my phone is dead, so getting a picture, I don't know if that's going to happen, but i got to try. Look at this beast. Mwah! You beautiful fish, you. So gorgeous. So damn gorgeous. Yeah, any kind of sensitive electronics, have a waterproof uh, case. She's completely dead. Ah, oh, what a shame. But... I have the GoPro to document the size of her. Because when people start seeing 20 inch smallies, that's when you start thinking about fishing tails. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> gorgeous thing, you. Back in she goes. Look at her. Man, man, man. And you can see that water clarity difference I was talking about. We're back on the. They call it the Rappahannock, but we're back in the water with the Rapidan today. And you can see how much clearer it is comparatively. Off she goes. She's back out there for y'all to catch, man. <laughs> Get after it. What do you say to that? What do you say to that? God. Fish on. Feels like another big one. Feels like another big fish. Yeah. I don't know if she's 20, but she's a nice fish. Uh, the last two fish, well, the last one and yeah. this one, Pretty much all the fish today thus Take far, I think, have come on the Senko. Take it. On that wacky Senko. Casting, like you can see where I'm casting. You see that, right, oh, right there. In those areas behind the grass, where it creates the current break. They sit there. They're waiting to ambush. And you don't even have to do a soft presentation. If you plop a Senko behind there, what a nice they fish. smash it. Because they're keyed, they're yeah. wired. They're sitting there, nose into that current, waiting for something to happen. And when they see something that anything looks even resembles food, they're going to crush it. I ain't having it. She said, I ain't having it. Woo! Come on. Gotcha. There she is. Another great fish. Man, this river, I tell you what. I tell you what. Beyond words, I love this river. Mwah! Gorgeous fish here. Well, I just realized that I had fog inside this camera. Hopefully that didn't completely ruin the video of the 20-inch smally and the 17-inch smally I just caught, but... Checks. <laughs> I'm right. lucky you did. A small mouth go for this and miss it about three times. I'm really lucky the boister in there didn't See, ruin any of the videos. Oh. But really, and can I include this shot right here just as another shot there of the river? Not. So you can see the structure, so you can see just how beautiful it is. At least not for this. <laughs> I can't recommend this place I enough. Swing over there and get her with the I know as a fisherman, I'm supposed to guard my fishing secrets, I'm but. As long as you come out here and fish respect on. the area, He'll respect the fish, nah, little guy. <laughs> I don't have a problem with, with sharing guy. it. I'd, I would like to see other people experience this. That made her feel a lot bigger than she actually is. No, no, no. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. There she goes. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, she went. <laughs> and that one was on the whopper plopper. Uh, she might be stuck in there. No, she gonna She's still it. in the she grass right now, it. but she eventually makes it out. You can do it. There she goes. <laughs> Fish on, and it's a big one. Fish on, and it's a big one. Oh no, she's in the grass. Oh, got her out. Got her out. Yep. Oh, now she's back in the current. It's better than the grass, I guess. 
right, I'm off. I'm chasing. But you can see where she came from. That's that slack water right on the right behind that rock and grass. (laughs) I'm telling you, I'm giving you everything you need (laughs) to succeed. I'm telling you, I'm giving you the intel. That is the water to fish. third fish this morning, right around 20 inches. One of them was absolutely 20. He was about 20 or 21. The other one was uh, about 17. And this one, I think is probably about 18. And now she might go 20. She might go 20. Not quite, I don't think. I think she's right around 18. Ah. Right around 18 inches. Thought I had her. Gotcha. Oh, nope, nope, nope. No. No beautiful nail. Put this out. And here's a still shot. Look at the patterns on that fish, man. I love when they go off slow. It's a, it's a slow motion video, don't get me wrong, but that's a pretty slow send off for a smallie. A lot of times they just blast out of there. Fish on, feels decent. And I might be going down some rapids trying to land it. Let's see if I can keep her on the hook and not go down the rapids. It'll be hard. Get off of that rock. Hey, get off my lure. You're in all kinds of shit. You son of a gun, you. Oh, yes. Off the lure. Yeah, that's not the Score. fish's fault. <laughs> right, going down if you're going to have another rod and a rod holder hanging there off the is? front, it should be He's hooked up. Fish? Not have trebles hooking, hanging down. <laughs> it's just asking for trouble. There she is. Where are you? Goes ahead. i got to find a place to settle up. Re-rig another worm. Ha, ha, ha. That's one time it paid off to leave the camera on, man. Oh, no. I still didn't catch the strike, though. There she goes. She was hung up on a rock. Come on, big girl. It's a shame because she blasted the popper. I don't know about this. It's going to be a hard land right here. She's in the current, going on rocks, and she's a big fish. And this is braid. If she rubs me too much on those rocks, she's gone. Nice fish. Yes, get over here in the slow water. That's it. That's it. Oh, it's another 18-incher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Body land job. Body land job. <laughs> God bless, man. Mm-mm-mm. It's a whopper plopper and rainbow trout pattern. Ow, ow. No, I'll I think she's a solid 17. 17, 18, but I'll give her Maybe 17. 17 and a half. She's Beautiful close to 18. Fish, you. Great fish. So Great pretty. fish. You're so pretty. <laughs> oh, oh, buddy. Yeah, I'll get one more decent oh, smallmouth on video here. But on. after this one, my Good GoPro dies. On. And I hadn't even made it halfway down the last stretch of the day. And as you saw earlier, my phone was dead. And now you can choose to believe me or not believe me. But after these fish, I caught another one that was 22 or 23 inches, just under 4 pounds. I have a scale on me. I, I, didn't, I haven't really shown you any of the photos of the scale, but she was right around 4 pounds and a 22 incher and I caught several others that were right at 20 inches at least four or five more and a bunch of the the mid-range small ones on my way out I'm telling you this river is just excellent so excellent but I promised you a map on the left at the put-in point if you want to plan this trip for yourself sometime the left on the put-in point is called Ellie's Ford that's going to be on the Rapidan day one 
is the stretch of river you cover on the first day. The campsite that I showed you the picture of from the drone earlier at the intersection of the two rivers is marked. Day two, we go upstream on the Rappahannock to that swimming hole where the deeper water is. Great fishing. I've seen some actually pretty big striper up there occasionally. And then day three, we pack out and you cover it down to the takeout point at Clowers Brothers Boat Ramp. Clowers Brothers Boat Ramp. And there's other stretches to fish, but this is the one I, hi I recommend most highly. Um, if you have any questions, by all means, uh, put them down, uh, comments on the video. I'll try to respond in a timely manner. <laughs> but if you have any questions, just let me know. I'll give you the intel. Just please respect this area. Respect this area. Respect the fish. Keep it the excellent, pristine fishery that it is. Because there's not too many areas like this. We really need to take care of it. So we can enjoy it. And those can come after us. But thanks for watching. Y'all have a good one.